What's up guys? Yes, it's your girl Liz. Let's address the elephant in the room. I do have purple hair. It's temporary just for the fun of it. Since we pointed out the purple elephant in the room, let's get started on today's video. 10 fall self-care tips. So I haven't done a self-care video, I believe since like the beginning of the year. And it definitely needs to be something that is talked about quarterly, if not monthly. I have 10 little ideas here of stuff that we can all do this fall to recenter with ourselves and give ourselves a little bit of attention. Number one, declutter. It is definitely not spring cleaning time, but it's been a couple of months and it's time to go through your desk, go through your mail, go through your purse, just dump everything that you don't need. And if you do need it, tuck it somewhere else that you're gonna go through in spring cleaning time. Number two, decorate. I know it is very basic girl of me to say, but fall is definitely my favorite time of the year and all of the decor that comes along with it is definitely something that I wait all year for. I have my salt lamp in the back here for a little spooky orange glow in my videos for the next couple of months. Number three, and this is fall specific, because it is watch your favorite childhood movies. So I don't know who you would be if you didn't have like a favorite series of Halloween movies growing up. Twitches has a couple of movies, Halloween Town has a couple of movies, you know, all types of stuff like that. Even if it's not a series, Hocus Pocus, um, the the Boogeyman one. I know that Boogeyman movie scared the hell out of all of us when we were kids. Mom's Dating a Vampire, all of those good Halloween movies. It's so important for your inner child to come out. And if it's not, you know, Christmas movies, We'll wait for Christmas, but Halloween movies, I know everybody used to wait for the 31 days of Halloween on, you know, Disney, Nickelodeon, ABC Family, all of that stuff. So let your inner child live a little and watch those favorite movies from when you were a kid. Number four, the at-home manicure pedicure. So your girl is still got plain nails and is talking about doing this for yourself. I always think it's so much more fun to give yourself an at-home manicure during the fall time because you can get spooky with it. You can do mix match colors, you can do something a little gory, you can try and paint a little spider web on there, a little spider, do a little googly eye, do some blood drops. You can definitely get creative with it and there's a reason for it to look sloppy because it's a spooky fall Halloween nail. Either that or I know a lot of people that literally just do not let themselves go outside of the box when it comes to their nail colors. If you are a French manicure or a cute little pink or a bright red type all the time manicure type girl, do those crazy colors. Do that deep burgundy that you're not confident enough to do. Do straight black for all I care. Work it girl. Let yourself get out of your comfort zone and being creepy in fall is definitely an excuse to do so. Number five, intense workout session. Get yourself back in the groove of trying to be healthy and fit. Just because the holidays are around the corner, and just because it's cold and down outside, doesn't mean that you can't stay fit because it's not just for that summer bikini bod, it is for your health for long term and make sure you keep it in the back of your head Number six I put in for the fall self-care tips, buy yourself some flowers. There are such beautiful arrays of fall flowers that I feel like people just really don't enjoy. There are, you know, everybody loves, you know, the carnations and the roses and the lilies and stuff like that. Beautiful, you know, summer flowers, daffodils and tulips and things like that. But what about the sunflower? What about just a beautiful array of like orange, bright orange leaves, a beautifully dyed rose? Have you guys seen in the grocery stores or at your flower shop, the orange roses that are yellow in the middle with like sunflowers and the beautiful orange fall leaves with it? So beautiful. 
Number seven, write a list of end of the year goals. There are only three short months in the end of this year. And then everybody's gonna be talking about new year, new me, new year's resolutions. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's January already. I can't believe it's 2019. I can't believe the year went by so fast. What goals have you not gotten to this year? What goals have you set for yourself for your new year's resolutions that you left in the new year and didn't resolve? Write a short list, even one per month and make yourself do it. Make yourself dedicate and when if January comes around and you feel like you don't need to make a new year's resolution, you've been resolving the things that you really want in your life for yourself already, make that a daily thing, girl. Make that a one, one goal for the next three months and make sure that you accomplish it. Self-care tip number eight is my favorite because I, like I have pointed out on this channel before, I really love over-organizing things and I love tedious tasks, which is a part of my small OCD. Number eight is to switch over all of the seasonal clothes in your closet. Okay, so I literally go in with this. No more ankle socks in the drawer. Bring out all the thigh high and the knee high socks. No more basketball shorts and tank tops for pajamas. Bring out those nice wool nightgowns and those cozy pajama pants. I tuck away all of my sundresses and all of my cute skirts and the nice flowy summery tops and I pull out all of those grandpa sweaters. Cosby sweaters, from wall to wall in my closet, pull out all of your flannels, all of your sweater dresses, all of your hoodies and everything that is nice and cozy. And as soon as your closet is switched from summer to fall, every day, it's like you have a new wardrobe. It's like, wow, what outfits am I gonna be making that I haven't been making for the past three, four months? Switching over my closet from seasons are definitely one of my favorite parts of the year. I do get just as excited when it goes from cold to warm, but when I get to pull out all my Cosby sweaters and I get to pull out all of my big hobo flannel shirts, I love it. Number nine definitely kind of goes along with number four as where my at-home manicure tip was more to try a cute little Halloween design or do something more fall colors and get out of your comfort zone. Number nine, I put change your hair and makeup. I put this in the list not only because I just made a huge change with myself, but the colder weather I feel is a better excuse because you're not throwing your hair up in a sloppy bun or you know cutting it short getting it off of your neck for the guys because it's summertime. Not sweating off all of your hard earned work when you do like a cute makeup look. But I tend to wear crazier lip colors in the fall and the winter time because fall is Halloween. All of fall is Halloween from August 30th to uh, October, I almost said Halloween 31st. Till Halloween, you should be doing you, boo. And if anybody asks, oh, why the crazy lipstick today? You know, oh, I'm just trying something out that I'm planning on wearing for my Halloween costume. Boom. Get out of the box, guys. Fall and Halloween time is just your biggest excuse to take yourself out of your comfort zone and live there for a little while. Your New Year's resolution can be to get back to your old self, but I feel like the fall is the best time to really try and take on a character that isn't yourself. I'm not saying go out and dye your hair purple, obviously that's not for everybody, but wear that crazy lipstick shade, you know? And last but not least, Self-care tip number 10, soak up some sun. It's not freezing cold yet, and it's so nice and crisp with the breeze and the fall leaves. Get yourself out into nature. If, if the summer was too hot for you or you were too busy, take the time now that you've realized that your summer has passed you by and get yourself out there before it's too freezing to do it. Get yourself out there and soak up some sun while the times are changing and it's gonna be darker earlier. A lot of people wake up and go to work in the dark and they come home in the dark and that's just 
a big trigger for seasonal depression really so make sure you get yourself out there and enjoy this crisp air enjoy the beautiful foliage and get yourself some sun soak up that vitamin D it releases so many endorphins in your body and it really makes you feel happy Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you think of my hair color. It might be the only video that I film while my hair is this color. So I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video for more self-care tips to come in this new year. And hit the subscription button while you're here and the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I love each and every one of you guys and I will catch you on the flip.